Linus Tech Tips, Nay Sebastian, just posted a really great video on why PC laptop webcams still suck oh so very much. I've been complaining about MacBook webcams being sucktastic for years now as well, which is really hard to take, especially from Apple, who makes some of the best mobile cameras and most expensive laptops in the business. So why? Linus goes over cost, which is never not an issue, but isn't as big an issue with Apple's margins, and sensor size, which is an increasing issue on near zero bezel PC laptops, but again, isn't as big an issue with Apple's still somewhat big bezels, even on the already screen stretched 16 inch MacBook Pro. Also, Windows Hello Facial Biometrics, which require extra or combined IR cameras, but since we still don't have Face ID on the Mac, that's just a non-factor for us. So again, why? What leaves MacBooks so stuck with 720p as in potato webcams so damn always? Well, in addition to the sensor, you need a lens system on top of it. And lenses, they crave depth. It's why actual camera lenses are so depthy, like Canons and Canons. It's why the iPhone camera demands a bump and still projects a good bump and a half beyond it. And even the selfie cam, the closest analog to the Mac's webcam, demands a notch to keep most everything else out from behind it. Depth tasks them. It tasks them and they will have it. But the current iPhone is 7.4 millimeters thin. The current 12.9 inch iPad Pro is 6.4 millimeters thin. But even that is just way, way thicker than the current MacBook lids. Now, more recent iMacs have gotten more better 1080p webcams, including the new iPad thin M1 Mac. But the new M1 iMac only looks iPad thin at a distance. Close up, it's actually thicker than an iPad, thicker even than an iPhone 12, by half. The other problem, of course, is that up until recently, very few people seem to really truly give a damn about webcams on laptops to begin with. Not like they do on phones. I mean, mess with our selfies and we'll cut you. But on a laptop, will either just make do or make like a streamer and buy an external camera do, if we really have to. But then 2020 hit us like a Devlin Emmerich flick and suddenly we really did have to. We all really truly had to care desperately and they were all out of stock or price gouged everywhere always. So we turned our lidless ire wreathed in pain at the laptop makers at Apple and they kind of had to start caring too. Case in point, one of the last things Linus touches on is computational photography, or rather the lack of it on PC laptop webcams when compared to phone cameras like Apple's or Google's. But that's one area Apple has begun to focus on, computationally. The M1 is basically a hulked out version of the A14, the chipset in the iPhone 12. They share the same image signal processor, or ISP, and 16 core Apple Neural Engine, or a &E which means M1 Max can do the same kind of computational enhancements, including frame fusion or extended dynamic range, noise reduction, even portrait mode, and they work pretty damn well for webcams, especially with the much bigger, better M1 iMac optics. So in other words, Apple has basically already proven all they really need to do to give us MacBook webcams that don't suck is to give us MacBook camera sensors and lenses that don't suck by figuring out how to engineer them into lids that are so thin, they're pretty much forcing them to still suck or, you know, give us a camera bump already. Not even joking. For a deeper look into how you can make your current MacBook webcam more than it has any right to be, check out this video here and I'll see you in the next video.